So now in this video we're going to use a PNP bipolar junction transistor as a low voltage uh, cutoff. And we're going to base the voltages around the uh, lithium ion battery, a two cell lithium ion battery, which uh, isn't actually 9 volts even though it says on there. The voltage adds up to 8.4 volts. So there's two cells, uh, 4.2 volts each. You put them in series, they add up for uh, 8.4. The charger makes sure that it doesn't charge more than that if you use the proper charger. Um, they uh, discharge though as you use them, which batteries do. And if it discharges below 2.5 volts per cell, 5 volts total, that could damage the battery. So it's important to shut off a circuitry, usually somewhere closer to 6 volts. We're going to see this is uh, close to uh, 6.2 volts because you don't have much uh, energy stored in the battery anymore. So we uh, buy 6 volts anyways. So uh, we discussed that a lot in the last video. We used the NPN bipolar junction transistor though. This is P and P. They have opposite chemistries. That's just flickering because I'm bumping the power supply. And uh, so current flows the opposite direction. Now we got positive coming to the emitter. We're going to have about 0.6 volts we need before that will conduct. The resistor makes sure that uh, we never have high current. And then we come to the Zener diode. Well, it's reverse bias. It needs about 5.6 volts to conduct. So that builds up another 5.6 volts for a total of about uh, 6.2 volts. But a little bit will leak through when you have a lower voltage, unfortunately. They aren't perfect. And uh, so just a little bit of leakage from emitter to collector will allow a lot more current to flow from emitter to uh, collector that way. So I meant emitter to base that way. Uh, will allow a lot more flow emitter to collector that way. And so we have this 10 kilo ohm resistor to uh, give a different path for current to flow. So at low enough voltages, that will cut off uh, any current flow uh, that direction. It will all flow that way. And just like the last video, we're not going to use the battery. That would take hours for me to film. Instead, we're just going to use a power supply. So right after you fully charge a uh, 9 volt lithium ion battery, you actually got 8.4 volts. If you don't use it, or if you use it right away, it uh, drifts down uh, anyways. Uh, but in any case, you're going to have above uh, 8 volts probably if you uh, charged it recently. And voltage is going to keep going down as you use it. So we got 7 uh, it's still on fully. We got a little less current because there's less uh, voltage across the load right there uh, for the most part. And uh, so we're going to see uh, somewhere about 6.4 uh, volts the LED starts getting uh, dimmer. There we go. Uh, 6.3 got dimmer. And it kind of looks like the LED's off until I turn the lamp off. Uh, so now we go to 6.1 and it is uh, fully off. It's just kind of glowing because there's a reflection. It's uh, not actually lit at all. So we got the exact same voltage range as with the NPN bipolar junction transistor. Just everything is wired to opposite. Oh, by the way, if you didn't understand what 4K7 was, that's the same as 4.7K or 4,700 ohm. That's the value of that base resistor.